Hello guys, Ashraf over here. So this is the video about assembly of this clockwork heart. About this clockwork heart, it just recently got featured inside Thingiverse. Links down in the description below. And also not that easy to assemble this thing. So let's get started. Okay, here are all of the parts. Notice that over here, we have three types of frames this is the middle the front side the back side this is the Ulis gear i suppose this is the gear and notice that this is a 1.75 filament and i'm going to use a 1.75 filament as a tower spiral spring and the balance wheel either balance wheel or the flywheel okay now i'm going to assemble this the flywheel with the spiral spring over here the orientation of this is that this one will be facing inside here and then this notch here will be facing the opposite of this notch of this balance wheel here it doesn't fit so i need to trim slightly the edge over here because i have elephant foot okay it's inside it's supposed to be looking like this where this bridge between this bridge and the spring will have a gap over there and then this is the front part i'm going to assemble the front part first and then a small filament a small bit of filament somewhere about 5 to 10 millimeters over here and I'm going to put it through the spring hopefully I didn't break it and then goes inside here and then a slight a slightly longer piece of straight filament try to keep it as straight as possible because this flywheel are supposed to be swinging back and forth as well as need to have a very good freedom of movement Okay, I think I'm doing it wrong. I forgot that I have 11 foot track on each one of these parts. As for this one, I'm going to use a screwdriver, a 2mm screwdriver to widen the hole inside there. So that it doesn't grip onto the filament double. This is the very critical part of this assembly. To have this part having a free movement. Okay, now check if any of these bridges make sure that any of these bridges will not catch onto the dowel inside the short dowel while this thing is flattened inside there for me it catches slightly so i need to trim it more perfect that is flush if you am if you are able to get it flush 
it's much better or you may as well just ignore the dowel inside there as well there and now this part I'm going to test fit because this might be too long with the slot inside there it's too long so I'm going to trim it down now if you are going to use the 1.75 filament as a dowel I highly recommend you to use a printer's heat bed to make it straight as much as possible. How? By heating up your heat bed up until around about 75 degrees Celsius and then put this small filament on top of the pan and then wait at least about two minutes for it to heat up and then you roll it around around the heat bed over there try not to burn yourself because it is the only way to make it straight by rolling it down just like how you need a dough or probably a donut something okay i think the length should be okay but I personally think that this dowel over here is slightly bent. Okay, hopefully nothing goes wrong. And let's continue on to the Ulysses, Ulysses gear as well as the fork. So about the fork, it's simple. I'm going to put in the dowel first I have pretty bad elephant foot effect inside there so I'm going to drill it down by using this screwdriver there you go this one printed without any supports and also I am using 0.25 millimeter the nozzle although it might not be ideal but pretty much I'm lazy to change it back to 0.4 millimeter nozzle okay I changed the angle because I don't want to release the bottom part which is the actually the front part so to assemble this fork this part goes inside there like so and then the dowel it goes right into the slot like so and then continue with the Ulysses gear I think I do not know what's the name of this thing and the way to put them together is that the one with the gear will be onto your left hand side dowel in first and then another one inside there done and also i'm going to put in dowel for the frame there but kind of loose I'm going to put in in over here instead oh it's loose okay never mind I guess that is the power of by using a 0 0.25 millimeter nozzle <laughs> you will have the ability of achieving lower tolerances
and then lastly this gear this gear should orient should be oriented like this and we are almost done but before that I'm going to do a bit of test which is putting it together okay now we test the whole thing this is the front part to make it ticking is that first you need to make sure that the fork inside there aligns with the notch of this flywheel or the balance wheel and then on your left hand pull this gear counterclockwise and then by using a thumb try to swing this once I almost got it but the problem is that it kind of stuck yep. Okay, I'm going to glue in everything together. The famous B6000. Okay, I think that should do it. So let's try making this thing work. Let's see now. Okay, one more time, making this thing tight, locking into the fork inside there, and then swing this once. Well, I'm going to use the brown color one because this one I think it was because of the elephant food here and here and also the accuracy of the printer is not that great because I was using a 0.25 millimeter as well as I think the printer having a motor skipping issues as well this one was printed by the Neo Tentelus that I built while this one, all of the brown parts were printed by my Prusa i3 Mark III. So by using the same technique, make sure that the notch inside aligns with the fork 
and then by pulling this part here the gear counterclockwise and swing this balance wheel or the flywheel once you don't have to pull this gear so hard just casually see it's skipping because that it might be that I pull this part too hard or that the part inside kind of not really has very high tolerance means that it has place inside there making it skips inside there the notch misaligned with the fork inside there as well let's try once more for this one I'm not satisfied yet just move by itself and then it just misalign itself as well yeah um Basically, I'm done with this. So, this is a pretty cool toy that might be the next fidget toy beside fidget spinners. Although, to make one of these is not that easy. The assembly process medium, while the printing process well, you need to keep an eye for the elephant foot as well as some other things. And also the original design uses a metal dowel which is 2mm metal dowel. And I'm not going to buy metal dowel. And also it is quite close with the 1.75 filament as well so why not I'm going to use the filament as a dowel anyway so yeah it works for the brown part but this one partially okay guys Astraf signing out thank you for watching peace